A little known option with regards to find replace is that you do have the ability to change the format of cells. So for example we've got the spreadsheet and you can see we've got various blues all over the place. Now what we want to do is go and change all of these, get rid of the blues. So let's assume it's a lot bigger than this. We can't just easily do that. So what we can do, we go to home, find and select, and I'm going to say replace. Or you could have gone control F. Let's get rid of this, it's a legacy from a previous search. And you'll notice we can say find what, and we can actually search for format. Now keep in mind this is only available when you increase the options. In terms of format, we've got a couple of options. We can choose the format, or we can choose the format from a cell. The risk with this one is, for example, if I point at that cell, and that cell is, for example, two decimal spaces, then it assumes that you're going to look and only find things that are blue and have two decimals. Whereas here we're just worried about the blue. So I'm going to say I want to find everything that's a format. Here's our format. I'm going to say it's a full. And I think that's the color we've got. I'm going to say OK. So please Excel find everything that's that blue. And please change it to, and let's make it white. So at the moment you'll see I haven't given it any thing else to look for. Let's see if it works. I'm going to click replace all. And you'll see what it's done is it's gone through, found every cell that had that blue in it, and you'll notice that it's colored it white. So depending on what you want to do, it's possible to make mass changes to formats, not only within the sheet, but within the workbook. So for example, if you like to use blue as an input color, but your client prefers yellow, you can then in one go make all the changes.